Okay, so we use liquid nitrogen on the trap here to collect any solvents that are run through the system when it's under vacuum. So it'll all collect in this vessel here. If we want to apply a vacuum, we can hook a hose up to here which runs to a vacuum. This is a dual sort of pump system and so with some you can turn on the vacuum and the nitrogen at the same time and you don't want to do that. But with this one you can only apply one at the same time because the blue tape up here would apply the vacuum from this faucet. While the black up would apply nitrogen separately. And so we're going to give this a second to run to make sure there is no air left in the system. And then we'll apply the vacuum while this valve is closed just to draw any oxygen out of this stem. Alright, so that doesn't take very long. And then we can switch this over to nitrogen if we want to blow it over the system, but of course we don't just yet. Uh, we're going to blow nitrogen through this needle here, so you can just kind of check it carefully to make sure it's blowing. And another thing we want to make sure is that this mercury is actually bubbling. And we use mercury because it's heavy liquid, and that creates a back pressure in the system that will allow us to push solvents from one vessel into another one. And so we can insert the needle through a septa here. What we use now is a cannula, and this is just simply a long needle which will allow us to push these solvents. So you can insert that into each of these two. And next we need to use this small needle here. This just provides an outlet in this one so that while nitrogen in solution is blowing through, it has a place to go. So we want to check the insides of these to make sure that they're clear have no instructions in them. So once this is set up, we can slide this end of the cannula down underneath this solution. And a lot of times you won't see this start to pour through right away because the pressure is not particularly strong in these systems. And so if you lift this up, you can actually let gravity sort of help pour it. And now you can see it coming through into the schlink vessel. So in your reactions, you're gonna to wanna to pour 15 milliliters into this. It doesn't need to be exact, but you can just sort of follow it along the graduated cylinder as it goes to make sure you get the right amount in there. So keeping it lift or uh, high up above the other should keep the flow rate fairly high. So. Once you think you've got enough, you can just pull this end of the cannula back out of the solution, but leave it inside the graduated cylinder. So now we just need to work backwards to make sure that we don't contaminate the system with any oxygen. So you take out the small green needle first and just put it back in that puller. And we can take this end of the cannula out, followed by this one. And finally you can just remove the nitrogen from that and turn it off. So now we want to make sure that nitrogen stays blowing over the system. So what we can do is turn it on from this end, black and up first, and then open up this valve. And so this will just make sure that there's a constant pressure of nitrogen in here equal to whatever the pressure is in the system. And then you can just let your reaction stir for however long you need to. And by the time that these are done, it'll be air safe. So once your reaction's complete, again, you can sort of just work backwards the same you did when you removed the cannula from the system. So we can close this valve here, Shut your nitrogen off, so this is fine now. You can just take off the hose and it's good to go and do whatever you need to. The set is fine to come off because again, it's air safe. So when you're shutting this down, first thing you want to do is make sure you turn off the nitrogen. Make sure all of these are actually closed and you can just turn the pump off. And that's simple as that.